as the president prepares for a visit with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and a much-anticipated speech to AIPAC, an unexpected outburst at a New York fundraiser. Change. None of, uh, nobody's uh, announced a war, young lady, so. <laughs> You're jumping the gun a little bit there. But the Israeli Prime Minister was less reassuring. The, the warnings that I and others have been giving over the years uh, will materialize unless Iran is stopped. The president is trying to walk a fine line between voicing full-throated support for Israel, yet playing for time to head off a preemptive Israeli strike against Iran's nuclear program. He told The Atlantic's Jeffrey Goldberg, when I say we're not taking any option off the table, we mean it. That includes a political, an economic, a diplomatic, and a military component. As president of the United States, I don't bluff. And he added, we've got Israel's back. But Israeli leaders argue time is one thing they don't have. They say they fear their window to set back Iran's nuclear program is rapidly closing. Former Ambassador Dennis Ross. Both sides will want to talk, I think, about uh, if, in fact, uh, diplomacy gets underway, how much time does one give it? Uh, what are the chances of it succeeding? What would be the signs that it was moving in the right direction? Publicly, U.S. officials say they want more time. I, I think it's uh, uh, probably uh, smarter for us to uh, be pressing on the sanctions and the negotiations. Sabotage has also reportedly set back Iran's nuclear program. Iran believes Israel and the U.S. are behind it. We think that it's not prudent at this point to, to decide uh, to attack Iran. I mean, that's, that's been our counsel to our allies, the Israelis, well known, well documented. Officials here insist the president's relationship with Netanyahu is far healthier than their prickly public display. Remember when the Israeli leader lectured the president in the Oval Office? I believe that uh, they have a, you know, a professional relationship. Uh, I, I choose those words deliberately. They, they have a relationship where they do business together. The president says he does not expect the Israeli leader to ask for a U.S. commitment to join any Israeli attack against Iran. At the same time, U.S. officials do not necessarily expect to get advance notice if Israel does decide to attack. Jessica Yellen, CNN, the White House.